So come along with us to Barorina, New South Wales as we stay on the Byron River and camp on the roadside camp stop to check out what is this little town has to offer with their murals, their sculptures, their fishing traps and more. Day breaks and I'm burned by the morning light I make the same mistake more than twice Same song but brand new dance I wear out my third second chance So I've had to film this inside, sorry about that um, it's quite windy outside at the moment and the camera doesn't do too well out there. Let's get straight into it and discover what Brewarina is famous for. And that is an attraction for anglers around Australia. Now, I was a bit stumped what an angler was because I imagine like fly fishing. No, so I did some Googling and some reading and some more Googling and some reading. And I found this from rustyangler.com and I'll quote this to you. So I'll read it to you. Um, there is more details in the link below if you want to read more about it. But obviously Rusty Angler is an angler or, or talks about anglers. So it's a bit one-sided. A fishing angler is a sportsman who is working hard to up his game and be the best. A fishing angler represents the fish, the environment, the equipment, and makes his sport exciting and fulfilling. Like all sportsmen, he uses the right equipment to work to win. Okay, and a fisherman simply goes to the water, puts the bait on the line and hopes to catch something he can eat. That's it. Really? Okay. An angler, on the other hand, uses the right technique to catch trophy worthy fish. Now that was a quote from Rusty Angler. Still not clear on what an angler is, because I thought a fisherman had more skills than he gave him credit. So I kept Googling and I found this. An angler uses a hook on line, a fishing rod. Well, so does a fisherman, but an angler catches and releases. Aha, uh -huh, okay. A person engaging in fishing is any person who attempts to catch a fish. Okay, so what they're saying is an angler can be a fisherman but a fisherman is not necessarily an angler. Just to confuse everybody even more. So what kind of fishies can you find there? You can find the Murray Cod, the Yellow Belly, which is also known as Golden Perch, Black Brim and Catfish. Ooh. These Aboriginal fishing traps are on the National Heritage List. They are an elaborate series of rock weirs and pools, and it's the oldest man-made infrastructure in its kind. Although they can't tell you how long ago it was, they said it's the oldest man-made kind. Okay. So all the water is flowing down from these rock weirs and these pools into these fishing traps. So they are quite interesting to see. If we didn't have to turn around If you told me not to make a sound And I hide in you We'll take flight When we make it to the other side And the smoke is heavy in our eyes I'm still finding you We'll be fine Going for a walk across this historic bridge. Doesn't say you can't walk there. Oh, there's a bird up in the tree there. Looks like there's a some hawks around.
There's a smell of dead carp around here, dead fish. The carp are a pest, so when people catch them, they just leave them on the side of the bank to rot. We made it across here safely, so. We stayed on the Burren River, which is a roadside camp stop, which is for free, which is a bonus. We found it that wasn't too much traffic noise, which is surprising because the road is quite close, but it was quite nice to stay there. We stayed two or three nights there. It's highly recommended if you're wanting to save some money, but like any spot, whether it's free camping, low cost camping or caravan camping, you can have a different experience depending on who's camping there as well. So we found it very pleasant. The people who were next to us were very pleasant. Um, people were coming and going, but there wasn't too much noise, easy enough to sleep. And it was quite a nice location that, that we found. Okay, like usual, if you like these videos and haven't already, please subscribe. It's really appreciated and it is free. Subscribing helps the channel to produce better content for the viewers. Also, if you've been watching our videos from the start, you'll see that we're constantly trying new intros, new ways of delivering the video, different thumbnails, mixing up content to see what best appeals to you, the viewer. So we'd love to hear your comments of what you like and what you dislike in the videos so we can improve as we go. Thanks for now. Bye. Next week, join us at Walgett, New South Wales for free camping, free ball bass, free advice and a lot more. You would take my breath and I can't get it back. Might be time for me to face the facts. The best me is with you, but...